Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And happy birthday. So it is our one year birthday, I guess, because it is officially a year that we've been living in the UK. And we figured what better way to celebrate than with some cupcakes from m and And we wanted to kind of make this video as a way for you to check in with us because we're really excited that we've been living here for a year and we want to share kind of what the last year has been like. And you guys are probably also wondering where the heck we've been the last couple months. So we'll touch on that as well. It's been a crazy couple of months and lots of stuff that we haven't been able to share, but now we can, so let's get into it. So usually when we do these videos of you checking in with us, we kind of break it down into segments of what's kind of going on and what's been the biggest change and that's how we're gonna do it here and we're gonna start with work and long story short I got a new job so if you've watched any of our videos previously you know that I came over here on a skilled worker visa with my company that I've been working for previously in Canada and obviously I've been working with them for the last year and previous to that five years back in Canada. So I've had a great time working with them. But a couple months ago, I was approached by another company about a new opportunity. I thought about it for quite a bit, but it was just such a good opportunity that I couldn't pass it up. So yeah, that's uh, been a big reason that we've been MIA. So we're all really excited for Sean. It's gonna be a great opportunity moving forward in his career. And yeah, we're just, I'm proud of you. Thanks. But I'm sure you're wondering why the heck that impacts our videos whatsoever. So because I'm getting a new job, I also have to get a new visa and there was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and I just kind of want to make sure all the I's were dotted, all the T's were crossed before, you know, putting that out there to the world more or less. And on top of that as well, when you are getting a new visa, you can't really leave the country. So it did impact our travel plans quite a bit. For us two people who have been traveling pretty much every other month yeah. since we moved here, we were getting ready to do some trips and then it kind of just crash and burn in the sense of you can no longer do this. Yeah, like if you remember our nine month update, we mentioned that we were supposed to be going to Morocco. Unfortunately, we had to cancel that because we just weren't sure how long the new visa was gonna take and we didn't wanna risk it. Yeah, so we'll talk more on that in a bit about our upcoming plans, but it's definitely something where when you're making travel vlogs, when you can't leave the country to travel. Makes it a little hard to make content. <laughs> So for me, my work updates are less exciting because there's nothing really to report. I'm still with the same company I have been since July. And I've had a couple of people reach out to me on LinkedIn and stuff for interviews. So I've done a few, but I'm not really looking to jump ship unless an amazing opportunity approaches me. So some of you may have noticed that our background looks a little different. And some of you are probably super confused because our background doesn't look different whatsoever. And you would both be right. So we did technically move. Kinda, so we're in the same area and we're still in Chelmsford, but our development had a new unit open up that's basically the same as our last unit, but has a slightly better layout. So we just kind of jumped on it. Yeah, it was also the same price. We were kind of like, eh, why not? Yeah, so while we wanted to get this video to you sooner because our one year was in March and it is no longer March, we were moving at the end of March, so everything was in boxes. Yeah, so between that and the visa stuff, it just has been a really hectic last couple months. I can't believe it's already been a year that we've been living in England. Honestly, time flies. It's crazy to think that we've been here over a year already, but we've already traveled to some amazing places and made some incredible friends. Yeah, truly the best of friends. We've had pretty much an incredible time through and through. Obviously there have been ups and downs and a lot of homesicknesses along the way, but it's been really good. And yeah, we've definitely learned a lot. Yeah, for sure. And we will release kind of a more in-depth video about things we've learned after a year. That's definitely in the pipeline. So it's super exciting that we've already been here for a year and that's the positive, but there is a downside to that, which is that it means I'm halfway through my visa. So being on a working holiday visa, you only get it for two years and it's not the easiest to extend because you really can't unless you switch to a new visa. And and we definitely want to stay past our two years. So for me, we've had a couple of chats with lawyers and things like that. And we are getting kind of our bureaucratic behind the scenes paperwork figured out. And it does seem like I will be able to get another visa. So I'm not too worried, but it is a bit stressful. Um, so we don't really know what our long-term plans are. I guess this is a formal announcement that we are intending to stay past the two years, but I don't know if that staying means five years, 10 years, forever, but it's definitely at least two. So like we mentioned, we had to cancel our trip to Morocco, unfortunately, when they did the whole visa application, they're like, oh, it probably won't be ready till like 
end of April and we were supposed to go mid-April, so it just didn't seem like it was gonna work out. Which is really unfortunate because we've been trying to plan a trip to Morocco since 2018. Yeah. Uh, so I guess maybe next year, but what I was gonna do instead was use this as a chance to go on my first ever solo trip So I had flights and accommodation and everything booked to go to Nice in the south of France I loved Paris and I've been improving my French so it seemed great It is no longer gonna be a solo trip This is a very recent development that Sean's visa has been approved earlier than anticipated But not enough time for us to rebook Morocco Yep, so going to Nice, which like not a bad consolation prize. Truthfully, I feel like I've been locked in a cage for the last like three or four months while this whole visa stuff's been going on. So I'm basically ready to go anywhere. <laughs> So super excited for that to be our next trip together. And then after that in June, we are going to Italy and also now Amsterdam. Yeah, our friends Zach and Izzy are coming to Amsterdam with us, which we're looking so forward to. It should be great to do that as a group. Yeah, which will be fun. And then I don't think we have anything planned after that until September, we are going back to Canada for an absurd amount of time. Yes, yeah, so we have a pair of weddings to go back for basically, what, three weeks apart. So. Yeah. We're just going back for basically a whole month. Basically a month, trying to figure it out with our works to allow us to work remote. It seems like it'll be fine, which is also another reason why it's been very difficult with companies reaching out to me about jobs because I turn around and say, are you gonna let me work in Canada <laughs> for a month? Yeah, sometimes Most it's a tough sell no. when you're a new employee, so. Yeah, but it should be good. It'll be really nice. Uh, Sean's best friend's getting married and then pretty much right after my brother's getting married. So it's gonna be a hectic time. Thanks again, guys, for checking in with us. And we are so glad that we can finally catch you up on what the heck's been going on with us for the last couple of months because it has been hectic. There should be a little more consistency with the content, hopefully now. We'll have a couple of videos coming out from Nice and then when we go to Italy. Yeah, so it should be an exciting summer and we're excited to show you kind of all of our travels, but also we are gonna make a couple more videos about just us being Canadians that live in England, so look at those as well. So again, please be sure to like and subscribe. Always helps out the channel. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.